that's the thing is like with everything that's going on with rhyme sayers too because i mean this, this is it's the second occurrence of like the me too movement coming around because it's going we talked about it beforehand it's happening in wrestling too where there's that whatever the hashtag was i forget at this point but they were talking about how promoters had fucking assaulted them or <gasps> taken advantage of them or whatever mm -hmm. they're doing it in porn too really yeah there's a bunch of porn stars on twitter talking about how do you, how do you get sexually assaulted doing porn uh, I guess a lot like, of the talent's just coming up and start fucking them without their consent. Like, uh, okay. Like, so they're not signing off on... Right. Okay. Or like the, a lot of the promoters are like, hey, if you don't come here and suck this dude and let him blow all over your face... Blackmail type shit. We're not going to yeah. pay you. <clears throat> so a lot of them, that's why they're going to OnlyFans and they're going to... Uh, Getting off of whatever. Right. Yeah. Shooting their own content. Mm -hmm. And I guess they're making like... Uh, there's this one stripper, or stripper <laughs> porn star. She's like making thirty five racks a month. Oh yeah, yeah. some of those God some of those fucking people Lee. charge twenty dollars a month. And, and there's a, na a lot of nasty I mean, fat like perverts thousands. out there. Oh yeah, there's a lot of religious people here too. So <sighs> yeah, a lot of a lot of a lot of weird fuck up fucking repressed religious people. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so the the rhyme series thing I wanted to talk about is when I brought it up, there was two. Now there's a third one that's come up too, but. The, the two artists that were released by Rhyme Sayers were uh, Dim Atlas, which is a kind of a... He was an upper, up and coming on their label, and then Prof. What? Yeah, they, they cut ties with Prof. What? and uh, so th But they're two vastly different cases. Because Dim Atlas has actual allegations of sexual assault and coercion against women. Uh, one of the stories that I read about was the, how he talked about... This chick talked about how he... I had invited her to a car to smoke a joint and they're smoking a joint or one on a date or some shit and they were sitting in the car and uh he basically was like you really turned me on and just pulled his dick out and shoved her head down and made him made Damn. her start sucking it and she was like in the moment like uh this isn't right but i've you know like i i like this guy's music i really cherish him as an artist and then uh i've done that before she's <laughs> gone down on the dude to <laughs> like his music <laughs> Trip, trip, trip. No. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> but uh, so, so Dim Atlas, like, I understand him being released. Like, these are pretty fucking serious allegations against him right now. Prof, on the other hand, damn, it was his DJ who he fired in 2016, was apparently accused of a whole bunch of like really bad sexual assault shit. I haven't looked up too much into that because I don't know his DJ. The guy's name was DJ Fundo. Uh, apparently, he was just a really awful shitbag of a human being. But because of the content of Prof's music that is kind of misogynistic, it's, it's when I hear it, it sounds more like just any radio rap, you know, like party music. Like, like it's, Uncle Luke type shit? Not even that. It's not even that bad. Mm. You know, it's just it's him talking about bitches, that kind of shit, you okay. know. But that's not rhyme sayers thing they, like when they signed him he was underground but you could see the potential for him breaking into the mainstream and of all the artists on rhyme sayers he was the one that had that potential to break through and become mainstream a lot of their a lot of their acts are really niche mm -hmm. like you're you're not aesop rock's not going to go mainstream slug and atmosphere are not going to go mainstream but they have huge followings in the underground circle mm -hmm. so prof was released for making misogynistic music He's about to have an album come out. He spent the last week denouncing DJ Fundo, talking about how he he had no idea any of this shit was going on with him. Uh, he he cut ties with him in 2016 because the dude was a piece of shit. This was before he had heard any of these allegations against him in the first place. But the dude wasn't performing well. He was just a, a shitty person in general, I guess. And so he just cut ties with him and hasn't produced or made any music with him, done any touring with him in four fucking years. And he still got released by Rhyme Sayers. So I'm kind of I'm torn on that one, and it's not because I like prof, prof's music. It's I do just like, like a guilty prof's music. by association type thing, and the, <clears throat> and the style of the persona he puts out in his music, mm -hmm. because I, I follow him on Instagram. Like he's not that guy. Mm -hmm. His music may be that way, but he is not that guy. Like you can tell he's a genuinely good person behind the scenes. It's almost like with with Eminem's early shit. You know when he was the fucking psychopathic killer, horror shock rap kind of guy. Slim you know? shady. Yeah, Slim Shady, like Slim Shady and M Marshall Mathers are not the same person, right. you know. But granted, Prof doesn't go to that fucking level that Slim Shady does. But 
So it's it's kind of a weird situation because like on one hand I get it with Dem Atlas and then the other guy who hasn't been released yet, but apparently more allegations have come out against him today. That guy is POS. Um, he's like a weird punk rock rapper kind of guy. Uh, I'm not super into his music. I barely know him. Like I said, I just saw him being uh, alleged on shit today, so I don't know anything about his situation yet. But apparently there's a lot of shit going on on Rhyme Series, which is one of my personal favorite labels. It's got a lot of my favorite acts on it. And to see this almost like forward thinking and conscious underground label just being destroyed by sexual assault allegations is fucking insane to me right now. Well, at least, I mean, it seems like they got it out in front of it though. They're trying to, you know, and I think the, that's, that's the thing that bothers me though with the prof releasing is, is I don't, I get it, but at the same time, I don't get it, you know, cause it's there. As far as I know, as of, as of us recording right now, there have been no allegations against prof himself. It was against his DJ that he cut ties with four years ago. So for him to get released just based on the context of his music, especially when there's way worse shit out in there mm -hmm. in the current day, like it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to maybe, me. Almost. Maybe prof wanted to be. I don't think so. Unless, unless, they like said, unless they found some shit and know some things they're not talking about. And, and that could be it. You know, like that's why I'm saying as of right now, I haven't heard anything. Mm -hmm. it, it, you know, it could come out. Like I said, there was more allegations against a different performer who hasn't been released yet today mm. that are, they sound pretty serious too, you know? So there could be more coming from more artists on that label. And I'm sure there's, I mean, we already know about, other labels and the horde shit people have done on it and that's only a fraction of it all so oh yeah i want to show you guys something it's gonna keep gonna happening wrap it up. Yep. <laughs> nice wrap it up it's B. gonna keep happening too the more comfortable women get with speaking out mm -hmm. and they should like it they should i wish yeah. it would have happened sooner you know yeah. you know definitely I, but i mean i'm not knocking rhyme sayers for doing what they did for for taking the initiative and saying like look we want to be better. We want to to progress and and not allow shit like this to keep happening. I'm I'm all for it. I understand it. I get it. But it's just it's a weird situation with for those two drastically different accounts for what's happening. You know, the only thing I can think of is is the content of his music and if it be, if it's being misogy misogynistic, they don't want that type of stuff on their label to be associated with them. Right. Even know. if he's not doing it mm -hmm. and maybe they went up to him like, Hey man, can you like rap about something else? Well, and, and that's like, the thing nah, is, man, fuck you. That's the thing. I is, fuck bitches. Right. Well, and that's the thing is like, <laughs> I would say, I would say probably a good 60% of his songs aren't, but the 40% that are, are can go, you know what I mean? But that's like the thing, Harvey like, Weinstein bumps them. <laughs> no, no, they're not. They're not like it's not even that bad. It's just you know, like bitches. Yeah, you know, getting drunk. Let's fuck like that kind Pop of music. Molly, I'm sweating. Yeah, she it's, ain't know it. it's that kind of music. Like it's Dang. not. Sorry. There's nothing. Yeah. There's nothing remotely aggressive towards that women. Clip, I wouldn't. I, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I could hear it in my ears. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, there's nothing remotely like aggressive towards women i wouldn't say offensive because somebody's going can take offense to shit he says but it's not there's nothing that i would say is problematic like he's not drugging bitches and then fucking them without their consent exactly stuff like that there's no content like that it's it's more like i fuck a lot of women let's have a threesome titties and ass everywhere that okay. kind of shit you know, like the stereotypical rap music bars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah got him. Hot fire. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There, I had a actually, I had a conversation with a, a girl at work. She just, we had to do a bunch of rearranging at work. They let, I don't know, 35, 40 people go. Anyways, she was telling me about how one of the guys there, she's like, I'm kind of glad I got moved because this guy, like, he's just a fucking creep. And uh, he he would make me feel very uncomfortable. And I was like, well, why didn't you? Why wouldn't you just say something? And she's like, well, because like I kind of like went along. I would 
throw in my little jabs of like sexual and like uh, sexual, flirting. yeah, in not innuendos. flirting, innuendos, but just like sexual. It would be considered sexual harassment at work. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was like, okay, so um, she's like, but I kind of wish somebody else would just hear it. So then they could go and say something because I don't want to be the girl. I don't want to be the girl to uh, basically start shit. Mm-hmm. And then uh, and then nobody ever wants to come around me and talk to me, talk, you know, talk with me and just shoot the shit with me because that one guy did that. And I was like, I don't know how that feels, but I get what you're saying. It's probably going to have to be end up like that. And I started thinking about it. I was like. It shouldn't be like that. Like, she should be able to just walk up to her supervisor and be like, yo, so-and-so is being a fucking uh, douchebag. It's making me feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I don't like this shit. Or at the very least, tell the dude, like, hey, dude, chill the fuck out. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm not okay with that. That's not cool. Yeah. it's You you want to know how to go full circle? It's the same shit with the cops we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Like, that, you can't say shit or you're fucking blackballed. Which is gross in any fucking way, shape, or form. I personally would stop that shit right then and there. Like, I was, Mm. you know, I would be like, no, I'm not okay with this. You need to fucking stop doing this shit, and Mm -hmm. we need to keep it moving. Yeah. So. And the sad thing is, is some of those guys will still hear that, get that warning, and not take it. You know. Or they'll be like, oh, she was being a bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what a fucking cunt. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't sexually assault her. Wow. <laughs> what a, dude, Unbelievable. What a shitty fucking woman. Wow. Just, she should just be able to go and grab him by the pussy like the president. That's how I learned it. 